we will be going through on how to do drip campaigns and uh, so as soon as you basically log into your Zoho One solution at marketing automations you should end up at this screen but if not then you would be at the home screen and from the home screen on uh, you basically go onto the left hand side you would see this menu you click on marketing automations and you end up at the journey screen so you can also reach here by these options at the top so if you have to build your email you go to this part and you can build your email campaigns if you have to build your journeys you're here and so landing pages anything you want is the same way you end up at that screen you click create and you start uh, with that basically so uh, in order to do your drip campaigns you would uh, begin with this and this is a place where you will actually ha have your own journey set up and your journey will have different components and those components would basically be the emails uh, what you actions you want to have what triggers you want to have and uh, all of those aspects will tie down all together at your journey so your journey is your home base where your email drip campaign or for that matter any automation will basically kick off from without that it's uh, not basically going to happen so as soon as you uh, from your journey screen basically as soon as you click create journey you will end up here so you have to give it a name so i'll call it demo so and you can put in a description and then click on next as soon as you do that uh, Zoho will provide you with some options which are some pre-built journeys with the uh, popular uh, trip campaigns for different events basically action events on the web or the, anywhere on the digital landscape and you can choose one of these templates and basically modify them but you can definitely choose and if you don't see the option here you scroll up and you see this option and you can if you click on this you basically do get to start from scratch uh, on your own so as soon as you end up here you basically have the option to drag and drop anything from the menu to basically the canvas the journey canvas basically All right so and then it's easier when you have these elements in place you can join them together uh, if they fit conditions if there are errors it will show and you can see what are the errors that you need to resolve and then you can basically go through and solve them and then you can connect and activate and if you have to activate you'll click on the review and launch button at the end uh, this one basically on the right hand right top corner so uh, just a quick glance through on what you have uh, so these are the four these are the three basic uh, aspects that you can look into when you're building up your journey so the actions you can send an email put a tag time delays and all those kind of items so for example in our case we will be in our drip campaign we will be needing an email to be sent out at the end yes so we do that and there are process based things for example you might want some conditions you want to merge two routes together or uh, split uh, some aspects of your journey or check on email activity and so these are the options that you have in reference to with reference to the set of processes that you can take care of in your trip journey and then there are triggers which actually set out on uh, different aspects that you can which are basically actions that the users take and based on those you can have triggers that set up or do uh, automate an activity um, so these are the set of options you can uh, play around and have multiple ones of those so there's no limit and uh, yeah so basically it's very simple you basically pick it out from here you have this and as soon as you have any aspect on the screen you might wonder okay i want to have a specific email template or i want to have a specific form submission so you have this aspect on the canvas as soon as you click any one of these once they're on the canvas you have this option to click on it and it'll have a pop-up 
and this will allow you to actually specify which form you want to have so these are some of the pre-built forms that i did have and just to give you a reminder where did these forms come from or if you talk of email activity so you'll have if you go back to the screen which we started off from you have this option to create your emails you have this option to create your sign up forms your pop-ups your landing pages once you have them created here in these then when you build up the journey you will have them over here so you click on any aspect in your journey that you've put on your journey canvas and you go on to you want to select something specific that you have already built a specific form or a specific email template so you have this option to go into that and then choose from the list of options that you've created as soon as i create a new one i'll be able to see it here so for example if i pick out this one i save it and then it's that and it, you, you can see it on the slab also that it marks out and tells me which form exactly similarly if i have to pick up email uh, templates i click on that and now i can go ahead and choose which one so i say test okay and so i say marketing one and so then i have this option to specify further and does it show me the options accordingly so i pick up a simple one and now so i go ahead and i can you know add so the most important part is so you can definitely modify your subject line you click you can add anything here and you save it or you, you know you can send a name your email address that you want people to see it coming from and the content as soon as I go into the content part, the interesting thing is it shows me, hey, I can I can choose from the templates that I've used, or I can select one from uh, the list of templates that they have. And so these are some example templates. Let me say I pick up this one. And so as soon as I do that, once this shows up, basically you will see that in this email template, there's options to basically drag and drop similar to how it was on the journey builder and you can move any one of these sections you can edit and modify you can say so you can type anything actually and so the thing is as soon as you do that you can uh, populate it with images you know if i put an image so it's a pretty much drop and uh, drag and drop aspect you want to this to go away you go on this part and you can actually copy it more more versions of this you can also undo that and if you want this completely gone or any one of these so if you want this one you click on it you go to this and you click on the this part and it's gone it will ask you for sure if you want it back you click on undo you can also definitely get all of these back from here from so if i want to add text there I can basically ask me I can click on that I can drop it on the template and I can change the font from you know, anything to anything that is possible within there paragraph and I want to have it central and so I click here and yeah, not this one not this one but this one and you see I click on this and it's central line so I want to change the font Ariel, yeah, it's Ariel. And so similarly, now if I want this image to go away, I basically go and click on the image, click on this icon on the right hand side, it shows me it says it's settings, and I go in and click on the dustbin and it's gone and deleted. So for example, if I'm happy with this one, this is I'll just using this, I'll be using this as an example. So I save it. And you see the name is test 001 that's what we labeled it so this is important to remember because when we go to the journey and so we're picking out a template basically so we say save and exit so this is our journey basically and so now we have that template and if we want to change it we'll definitely so the template name is important you should know that so because you'll that's the email then that's that you'll pick up basically and that's the email that you'll attach and what 
go to your customers once you activate this uh, drip campaign. So we say that we want people to come in and submit this form basically, and basically then go ahead and uh, move, uh, get this email that we just created. So you can have other aspects, you can have criteria match, you can have goal achievements, and then you can link these up. Of course, you need to specify on each one of these, what kind of criteria, you know, what do you want? You want people to have who uh, have a certain email, who even to the extent that you can uh, select aspects as to if they opened or not, uh, the total number of emails opened, if you want to have uh, monitor a list of people who opened a particular campaign that you sent out to them previously, or clicked on a certain automation or a drift campaign, from before so you can specify those things so and you know modifier is and what is it which one so you can select from the list of automations that you have used or whatever it is but the point here is yeah, so you have you see this page visits so you can even specify okay you know if we delete this one and it can be even hey if they visited that page and if you you have the tracking set up to monitor that then you can have a drift campaign for that part also and it goes the same way you specify which URL specifically, and you should be able to, of course, have tracking set up so that you can actually monitor that and basically have that email sent out. And so uh, these uh, things that you see, these options on triggers on the left-hand side menu, these are pretty useful, and these are going to be your best friend when you're picking up on building uh, email campaigns, basically, uh, email drip campaigns uh, to be specific. So as soon as you do that, you basically now have one uh, last step to go, which is uh, that you want to basically go ahead and conclude this. So email journeys are not so complicated. So for example, just a second. You, as soon as I clicked on the time delay part, you can see it has the option, what days do I want to get this to send out? If I, can, if I want, I can have it seven days a week, which time periods, and uh, so, you know, which time zone, so it can be anyone that you choose from. So as soon as you see this, so we'll go through with connecting them. And so you see, this is how you connect them. Similarly with this one. And so that's pretty much it. That concludes how you do your journeys and you basically click on launch and it's good to go. And you can have any, extent of you know conditions or specifications within your journey uh, you can also match your journey you, if you want to have you can plug your journey this journey to another journey by specifying from the list of tools here so you have to seek out uh, the specific action which actually allows you to switch users coming in from this journey to another journey uh, because there are definitely multiple drip campaigns that you might be having across your solution, digital app or website or whatever it is. And so being able to do that also helps a lot. So I hope you found this useful and we'll be putting up more of such uh, tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions, anything in specific that you want to go in detail with so that when we start out with the next video, we do take those into consideration and build on those aspects as well.